Okay, we're back. We are applying the height paste on the face and around the eyes, pulling the face to skin over it. So fairly fast forwarding here because um, I believe with watching the video just like this, you know, high speed, you will realize what's going to happen and what we're doing here. And uh, yeah, so applying the clay ear earbuds, two ball of clay, equal size, one for each ear. So the skin has been adjusted and taxied into the right place and we have cut out the excess for the back of the mannequin for the floor pedestal. As you can see, I'm tucking the skin in into the gap that we cut out into the slot that we cut out with the Dremel. So I push the hair up to see where the skin is so I can push in the skin first and then I follow with the hair on top of it. Makes a very tight tucking so and it will not pull out of course there is glue in there too so so this will take care of the back of the mannequin and the, the rest of the area that you can see is um, is still uh, plain it'll be covered with felt I, will, I like to glue some black felt in that area finishes up very nice okay now we're uh, back on the face work um, I like to pull the skin off of the muzzle and apply more a little bit more clay around the lips after taxiing and adjusting the skin a roll of clay for the upper lip just a fine roll of clay and half of it will also be feathered down alongside of the lips to make a smooth transition so you don't see any stepping uh, line in there and then um, I like to apply some more glue before I pull the skin over it slowly pull the skin over the muzzle and the nose by pushing the nostril skin into the, and into the nose um, I will centralize my uh, my basically nose skin make sure that I'm tucking the lip skin a lip lip skin in the right place I like to push right in the middle first to make sure that the center is right in the middle and then find the corners tuck in the corners and then move my way forward some people like to start from the corners it doesn't really matter as long as you find your way to the point that the skin is lined up with the nose symmetry that's all it that matters otherwise different people might have different methods which is the beauty in this in this trade I love my fish knife. This is called fish knife and I've never used it for fish. That's the interesting part. <laughs> yeah, I use it for lip tucking and I use it for skinning and everything. I've never used it on any fish mount. I don't actually do any fish mount. Only replicas. So now the little lip muscle was built in front of the lower lips too and now we're following the same procedure to tuck in the lower lip skin you just make sure that you don't tuck in too much hair 
and bent the hairs into the gap so it's going to look really ugly. Now we are going to use our little stout ruffer and use it as a skin stretcher and a gesture and just pull the skin around make sure that we're going when we're going to tuck the eyelids in the the skin is in the right place so we're going super fast on the eyes that on the on the, on, on the right eye because you can't see it because of the angle of the camera and we'll slow it down on this eye just centralize the um, the roundness of the eye hole around the glass eye and um, so when you tuck in everything it's going to be in perfect spot I'm tucking in the tear ducts right now it seems like it's pulling the eyes forward because I'm putting too much pressure on it but there's nothing to worry about I'm going to adjust the skin again so I like to start by pushing my fine spatula on the extra skin on the glass eye and slowly push it between the eye and the clay work as you can see it creates a very clean eyelid now the eyelid is all tucked in and whenever we do this we slightly change the clay work that we have uh, spent some time on it but that's okay now we have the skin and, and the clay is still pretty wet you can easily bring the clay work back into the shape that it was before you put the skin over it you just make sure the corners are in tight and we'll pin them later too and the shape of the eyelids are fine and also later on you can create that um, crease in the eyelids that crease actually in the eyelid is usually best to be applied the next day because right now the clay is very soft and whatever um, you try to build off of with it, it it doesn't get the impression but by next morning or the next day or 10 12 14 hours later the the clay has dried up a little bit but yet soft enough that it's impressionable so when you when you want to create your crease into the eyelids you can and the, and the impression stays there right now it's pretty soft so right now we're just, uh, tucking in the nostril holes right inside the, um, the nose and uh, we just jam in a whole bunch of grocery bags or any kind of plastic bag inside the nose and that will help us with uh, gluing and drying the skin tight against the inside of the nose otherwise it'll peel off or pull away and it doesn't look right so right now I'm trying to pin the corners of the nose with some T-pins and some dressmakers pins Here we go with the plastic into the nose. We are slowly getting close to the end of this segment too, which will be basically finishing the mount and uh, doing all the brushwork and everything and setting it aside for curing and drying it's going to be quite self-explanatory so I'm gonna let you watch and um, I'll watch it along with you and if there was anything that I needed to uh, point out I'll just chime in and let you know
Yeah, see, um, I'm trying to create that crease in the eyelid, but I just leave a very fine uh, impression in there because it just doesn't accept any shape to it. it the, the clay is very soft. I leave a little bit of a mark and tomorrow morning I'll come back to it and um, the clay is drier and uh, make a good impression. Now with the shortest uh, brad that you can find for your brad nailer, I will pin all around the burrs of the antlers. I'll pin the skin into the mount so it will not pull off and it will not basically uh, shift around. That's one of the best things that I have I've done. In the old time they used to use nails and cut the nails short but this is much much easier. The final steps of adjusting the earbuds and making them stay in the right shape, spraying it with some water, adjusting the final skin taxing and brushing before we set it aside for drying. So this is it guys. Thank you very much for watching along. I appreciate it. I hope you liked the video. Please hit the like button if you like the video and share it with your friends and also subscribe because uh, there is a ton more videos coming up. Thank you very much again, and we'll see you next week.